Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, January 26th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. And a wet pattern is in store for Alabama. Here's the upper air pattern across the United States this morning showing a broad trough over the eastern part of the country. Alabama sort of at the base of that trough. And disturbances sliding through it over the next uh, 7 to 10 days are going to bring us uh, rounds of showers. Uh, here's the uh, situation for noon today. Looking at the GFS showing uh, high pressure hanging on over Alabama but barely at the surface uh, at first, those disturbances sort of rotating into the Arklatex this morning. And uh, as it does, a few showers will move into South Alabama. Even before noon today, the main rainfall will move into Central Alabama later uh, this afternoon and evening. This is about um, uh, 9 o'clock tonight off the 3-kilometer NAM, showing uh, its depiction of where the rainfall might be uh, there uh, from the Birmingham area westward. So, Generally between 5 and 9 this evening, I think we'll see showers moving into western Alabama, uh, west of I-65, progressing eastward across the state. And uh, after midnight tonight, this is around 3 a.m. off that same model, showing most of the uh, organized rainfall into Georgia, but some uh, scattered showers remaining across areas east of I-59 uh, through the pre-dawn hours. A little drizzle hanging on into Monday morning, but then we should see uh, just generally cloudy skies, a um, little bit of that drizzle hanging on. Temperatures uh, a little cooler tomorrow, around 50. Uh, we'll see somewhere around 51, 52 today. Um, but the uh, next system will already be locking into place to our west uh, by late Monday. This is Tuesday, though. Alabama dry uh, for the most part, at least through the daytime hours. Temperatures uh, peaking out in the uh, middle and upper 50s across the area. But the rain moves in from the next disturbance by Tuesday evening. Low pressure beginning to try to form off the Louisiana coast. That disturbance uh, pushing into uh, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. A few showers make it into western Alabama. This is uh, somewhere around midnight, uh, Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. The activity uh, pushing slowly across Alabama Wednesday. Not much rainfall out of that first system that uh, we'll see over the next 24 hours, not, nor out of this system. Probably a quarter inch uh, between now and tomorrow, maybe you know a tenth to a quarter inch out of this system. Uh, just not that, not much there uh, for sure. Now Thursday looks like a dry day. One of the nicer days along the way will be in the middle and upper 50s across central Alabama, but by Thursday night. Another system locking into place to our west. Showers moving into western Alabama by Friday morning. That system will grow into probably the most formidable of the rain systems. Around a half inch of rain expected out of this one. This is Friday night at 6 p.m. off the uh, GFS showing uh, broad low pressure moving into the Florida Panhandle near Tallahassee. Getting ready to make that track up the east coast here in Alabama will be wet. Uh, through Friday evening into Saturday morning. In fact, it may uh, there may be a few showers through much of the day on Saturday, even as that low wraps up uh, there near Wilmington, North Carolina, gets ready to move up the coast. You can see snow breaking out there uh, in the Shenandoah, uh, western uh, Virginia, eastern West Virginia, uh, beginning to see some snowfall. And um, it could turn into uh, quite a, a little snowstorm for areas from the eastern uh, Smokies up uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway into Pennsylvania, southern New York, and New England. This is next Saturday evening. A few showers still hanging out over northeastern Alabama to be mainly gone by then. But interestingly, this system doesn't turn us much colder, at least if we believe what the GFS is saying. Uh, looking like uh, Sunday will be a chillier day, uh, probably, in the, uh, probably in the lower 50s on Sunday. But uh, a nice warm-up on Monday as that ridge builds over Alabama. We'll see middle 60s probably. Uh, for Monday the 3rd. Now that's going to make uh, Groundhog Day uh, probably cool and uh, clearing over Alabama. So the Groundhog may see his uh, Birmingham Bill, no relation of course, may see his shadow. And that means six more weeks of winter for Birmingham. So we'll be watching that. But if, uh, uh, if we're lucky and get a little bit of cloud cover that morning, maybe Birmingham Bill will just go about his business and uh, We'll get an early spring out of the deal. Now, fast-forwarding uh, VU land out to February 4th. That's a Tuesday. This is noon, another uh, system uh, moving across the southeastern United States. Maybe uh, 
uh, speckled with a little bit of wintry precipitation along its northern uh, periphery. Uh, Tennessee most likely a candidate for that. Here in Alabama, it should be just a, a cold rain. The GFS over the next 16 days predicting somewhere between one and a half, two inches of rain across north and central Alabama. We'll take it. It's a long, hot summer ahead. These are temperatures off the GFS. The only thing I think is a little suspect now, um, that 63 and next on Sunday, the second Groundhog Day, probably a little high, maybe by high as uh, much as 10 degrees. But uh, I think the uh, 60s on Monday and Tuesday, quite possible. We'll take those before we go back into a cool pattern or at least uh, a fairly normal pattern uh, with those uh, fluctuations between warmer and cooler temperatures as we dig deeper into February. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, the 26th of January. Uh, James will be back two days tomorrow. We'll have notes on the blog. Of course, Scott will be here next Saturday. When I sit in with you next Sunday, I'll remind you, as I always do, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. <music> KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.